Rock and Roll Geek Show 690. Still rocking after all these years. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. This is it, the show that started it all. Often imitated, but never equal. From San Francisco, USA, online since 2004, it's the one and only Rock and Roll Geek Show. With the original Rock and Roll Geek, Michael Butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Friday, April 1st, 2016, when I'm recording this show. It's 4.05 p.m. And no, this is not an April Fool's joke. I just did a show two days ago. The reason I'm doing a show so soon is for two reasons. One, I want to get back on the horse after that last train wreck of an episode. I don't want to make that piece of crap the last show that people uh, see. And another reason, which is way more important, is the new album from my favorite band, Cheap Trick, just came out today on Pledge Music. I got the download. I ordered it from Pledge Music. I ordered the CD and the download. I'm waiting for the CD to arrive. I, one thing that pisses me off about Pledge Music, I don't know if this is a, happens on every release, but they don't, re, they don't put the album art or the or the, a PDF or any of the liner notes on the download. So I wish Pledge Music would change that. So I don't have the liner notes to look at. I'm going to do a track-by-track track of this new album, by the way, just so you know, if, in case you were wondering. So I don't have the liner notes in front of me. I will have them when, when the album comes. So I'm just going to have to guess who wrote the tunes and give my opinions on what we have here. It is the... 17th studio album by Cheap Trick. As, as I said, Cheap Trick is my favorite band. They're being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in one week, I think, on the 8th, right? I think so. On the album, this is the first album that they've ever done without Bunny Carlos on drums. Dax Nielsen, Dax Nielsen Rick's son, as you know, is playing drums. The album cover... I don't know if somebody's calling me. i got to put it on voicemail. The album cover has all four of the guys sitting in a room. Uh, Robin is, sta- is the only one standing. Underneath Rick Nielsen, it says bang in Batman type letters and, you know, font and all that. Underneath Tom Peterson, it says zoom. Underneath Dax, it says crazy. And underneath Robin, it says hello. Now, my guess is, this is just a wild guess, but so I'm guessing that somebody sat them, somebody said to them, Hey, why don't you guys just say the first word that pops to your head? And Rick goes, bang! And Tom goes, zoom! And Dax goes, crazy! And then Robin goes, hello! And that's, what, that's how they named the album. That's my guess. It's probably a wrong guess, but hey, it's as good of a guess as anybody else's. I, first of all, I don't really love that title. I also don't really love the album cover. But that's neither here nor there. So what we're going to do is a track-by-track track of the new Cheap Trick album. My favorite band, Bang, Zoom, Crazy Hello. There are 11 songs in this album. And, I'm, and the Rock and Roll Geek scoring system, if you're a new listener of the show, but if you're a new listener, thanks for tuning in, friends. I hope you stick around for more shows. If you're a longtime friend of the show, you know how the scoring system works. If I like the song, I give it a plus one. If eh, it's okay, I give it a half. And if I don't like it, I give it a zero. And then I tally them all up and put that total divided by 11. So if there are 11 songs and I like all 11 songs on the album, I give it 11 out of 11. Okay, you got it? Okay. All right. I'm going to take a sip of this fine Tecate before we get started. This is the second beer of the day. The first one was a... Sing Tao. I went. I just met Don from the um, convalescent home and took him for a walk. And we walked all the way to the Chinese restaurant and had some food. I'm gonna take a sip of this fine Tecate. Ah, I got the album when I woke up this morning at like 5:45. I saw that it had come down in the, on the on the pledge music. It says your download is ready. Come get it. So I. Immediately downloaded it. Did not listen to it until I got in my car to go see Don at the convalescent home. So I've listened to this thing one time all the way through. 
not a good and en- not long enough to give it a solid opinion. But some of these have they they've released already, and I've heard them. You know, I like uh, three of them. I think I've already heard already, and some of them they played live. So. All of it's not a big surprise, but some of it I've never heard. So what we're going to do today is we're going to listen to it together and give it the score. Also on, by the way, thank you to everybody who donated. I'm not going to say your names today because I just want to do this track by track. But thank you so much, friends. Without your donations, this show would die a horrible, putrid, stench-filled death. All right. Seriously, your donations keep the show alive, and I really appreciate it, friends. All right, let's just get right into it, okay? The first, there are 11 songs on the album. I don't have any of the bonus tracks. They do not put the bonus tracks on the Pledge Music. I paid $15 for the CD and the downloads. Could have got it for $9.99 just for the downloads, but I also could have got it on, on iTunes with bonus tracks. Is what I probably should have done. I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing that, but if anybody has the bonus tracks, please don't you send those to me because that, that would just be wrong. Rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. All right. First song is called Heart on the Line. What does Cheap Trick have to say about Heart on the Line? First song on the record. Yeah, Heart on the Line. It's, uh, it's got some good, uh, one of the best lines in it is, My heart's playing bumper pool. A silly game. Good guitar solo. Listen. All right, there you go. It's up tempo rock tune to start the album, I'd say. Mm. Tom's bass line. Kill it. Thanks, Dax. Thanks, Pat. All right, let's hear Heart on the Line. Sorry Boys, Sorry Boys, which is a takeoff on uh, that Zeppelin tune. But catchy song. I like this song. like to try to remember i played this song on the rock and roll geek show before i liked it i like this song it's a good song i give it a plus one robin sounds great production sounds great here's the solo rick was bragging about Great vocals. I don't know who produced the album. I'm guessing that Julian Raymond produced it because he's been working with him forever. Credits are nowhere to be found anywhere I can find, but that's my guess. I like the production. 
guitars sound great. Robin a little down in the mix, but he sounds fantastic. The guy's the best singer in rock, obviously. There you go. Heart on the line, plus one. Very good. Very good song. I like that one a lot. All right. The second song is called No Direction Home. And what does Cheap Trick say about No Direction Home? No Direction Home. home. It's an anthem, almost. By the way, these, uh, these talking about the songs are from YouTube. They're sitting there talking about all the songs. They look extremely bored. I posted on the on the Facebook that I just got the album and I was afraid to listen to it because I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. So, especially after I saw them talking about the album, they look bored here and they don't look they don't really look like they're too into the album or even into doing this. But that could be just my opinion. No direction home. It's an anthem almost. It's almost an anthem. Sounds. What does it sound like to you? It sounds like a rock song. There you go. It sounds, sounds like, like a cheap rock trick. song. Yeah, it should be on a cheap trick record. What well, it is? All right, there you go. Let's listen to No Direction Home. It should be on a cheap trick album. one already and I like this one a lot too sounds better on the album for some reason I don't know why but maybe it's just my imagination but I like it a lot catchy song almost an anthem That solo is taken from another Cheap Trick song. I cannot put my finger on it, but it, it sounds familiar. Listen, we'll back it up again. Listen to it. That. Something from either the first or, or second. Maybe, oh, Caroline? Maybe, maybe, might be solo from Oh, Caroline. Just that one little leg. Press it. That. All right. The plus one, obviously. All right. We're two for two. So far, it's a perfect album. Why am I yelling? I don't know. 
All right, the next song is called When I Wake Up Tomorrow. I believe this is the one that they, they made a video for that was a really boring video, and they said it was Bowie-esque. Let's hear what Cheap Trick has to say about When I Wake Up Tomorrow. Be here when I wake up tomorrow. This one's got cool lyrics. Cool Dark. lyrics. A line that's mysterious. Will you be here? Robin says mysterious. When I wake up tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, it's kind of evokes a whole bunch of stuff. Robin yeah. looks like he would mm. rather not be there. Or will I wake up when I wake up tomorrow? <laughs> will yeah. you be here when mm. I wake up? All right, let's listen to "When I Wake Up Tomorrow." I did a try. I did a special one song episode on this song. Oh, starts off like you. It's almost going to be. Uh, How does it feel to be better? That chord, very reminiscent of it. To be better. How does it feel to be on your own? Please tell me how. Uh Uh-oh. Then it takes a left turn. I'm not crazy about the melody at all. Not crazy about Robin's voice on on the verse. Lyrics are stupid. Well, maybe I didn't understand. All you wanted was a one night stand. Never thought that I would beg like this for more. I guess that chorus is kind of catchy, but it doesn't really grab me. Does it sound mysterious? No. It sounds like The Cure or something like that. Not more of The Cure than Bowie. All right, I'm sorry. I got to give that one a zero. I do not like that song. All right, the next song is called Do You Believe Me? And what does Cheap Trick say about this song? Do you believe me? Do you believe me? Do you believe me? Now, that was a song that we used to... No. So they don't believe me. It was a song that uh, was written a long time ago, and... uh, at the end, we got Robin Zander and Rick Nielsen and Wayne Kramer from the MC5 doing guitar battles back and forth. Oh, and he inspired us. Wayne and Kramer played on this. Okay, it's a lot of noise and a lot of good stuff. All right, let's listen to this it's called "Do You Believe Me." I want you to want me. I like that guitar. The ow, 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 ow. That's a good riff. Very cool tone. I like the vocals. Robin's vocals sound fantastic. So she says it's cause she's lonely. You won't see her when you're home. Do you believe me? Chorus, uh, not catchy, not catchy. She needs you to take her hand back your time.
loving it. It's okay. I love that guitar part, so I can't give it a zero. I think that's probably Wayne Kramer because it doesn't sound like Rick. Ripping guitar solo, I like it. No, I think that's Wayne Kramer. Not so ripping, but still good. See them do this live just for a, have a dueling guitars. Ah, it's still going with the jam. I want to give it a plus one, but just the fact that it doesn't really have any hooks in it, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm going to give it a half. All right. Next song is called Blood Red Lips. And what does Cheap Trick say about Blood Red Lips? Let's hear Cheap Trick themselves. Holy cow, that's got a, it, it evokes a bunch of stuff. But blood and red lips. You sing it good, Rob. Thank you. Really good. Thank you. Wow. They said a whole lot of, they said a very little nothing about that song. Blood Red Lips. Let's listen to it. Sounds similar to a Geary Glitter or Suzy Quattro tune. I don't know how to fight. Not similar in, in, just similar in style, not like it's ripped off. Just it sounds in the style of Geary Glitter. Now that's catchy to me. That's catchy. I like this a lot. I love that chorus. 
probably my favorite song so far. Obviously a plus one for Blood Red Lips. That's a good one. That's a good one. I wish I had songwriting credits on here. All right. Next song is called Sing My Blues Away. Let's see what Cheap Trick has to say about Sing My Blues Away. I wanted to call it Sex My Blues Away, but I got outvoted. But Sing My Blues Away is not too bad. <laughs> it's good. It's great. The sex my blues great. is better though. It's a, I like the title, but oh, okay. I don't think it goes with the song on the Sing my blues. All right, according to the uh, Cheap Trick message boards, Tom Peterson was the main songwriter on this one. Sing my blues away. So let's listen to this together. I like that piano. One note. Simple lines intertwining. I like that. I like the melody of the verse. I like that. I like that a lot. Melody on the verses. Oh, pre chorus, even better. It hurts just to walk in the park. It's only when you're down, I got to turn my radio on. So come on and sing me a song now. You sing my blues away. So I like this Giving that one a plus one. I like that one almost as much as Blood Red Lips. Oh, solo, solo. Yeah, that's a nice tune. Very nice. Let it, let's let it in. Okay, so so far we got six songs. We're ha- about halfway through. Out of six, we got one, two, zero, two and a half, three, four out of six. All right, not too bad. Next song is called Roll Me. What does Cheap Trick say about Roll Me? Roll 
me? Tom, you uh, you started this on. Yeah, double time, kind of, kind of like satisfaction, you know. But doesn't, doesn't sound anything like satisfaction. But it's that double time thing, right, Dax? Yeah, great riff. It's got a whole bunch of different rhythm parts that uh, kind of fit together, and you can hear the different playing that Robin he plays a certain way and I play a certain way, and it's like I can't play his part and oh, he can play my part, but I can't play his part. So it's like it's always good because we don't sound like it's like one guy always doing everything on the record. You know, it's like a, it's, it's it's really us. Okay, let's hear "Roll Me." You know what it sounds like? It doesn't sound like satisfaction. It sounds like uh, Undercover of the Night. Isn't that the song? Undercover of the Night. Let's back it up again. Let's just think about Undercover of the Night, Rolling Stones song, when you hear this. Robin's vocals sound fantastic. Wow, he sings good, man. Fuck. I gotta say, for a band that's been around so long and so old, fuckers are still ro playing hard rock. I'm liking this one. It's a nice rocking too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got some sugar tonight. Got a to squeeze, baby, tight. I... Robin's best vocals, I think, are on this too. Yeah, undercover of the night. Ba -da -da -da. I'm giving that one a plus one. Next song is called The In Crowd. I believe this is a cover tune. Let's hear what Cheap Trick says about it. Dobie Gray? Yes, that's Dobie right. Dobie Gray did it, and so did uh, Ramsey Lewis Trio. And then uh, we, it's, we, we used to do this kind of like as a sound check. At a bunch of our shows, you know, it's like uh, play. It's it's a big G, F to G, F to G, and uh, it's kind of a, we make it into kind of a pop song, but kind of a kind of a hip. It's, it's in major key, but it sounds like it's almost minor in the in the verse. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's one of those songs we played early. Yeah, and we played it. You know, we used to play that, and we used to play eighteen, but. Right. By the way, in this video, Robin is wearing a camo sweatshirt, which is fine. I have a shirt very similar. Black pants, and I believe he's wearing black slippers and white socks. It's Cooper. We never got to the bridge part or whatever. We only played the... It's just the one verse over and over. Yeah, again. just G minor, G minor. <laughs> All right, let's listen to The In Crowd, originally by Dobie Gray.
like Rick's guitar with the with the with the toggle switch. Robin's voice is great. Nice, nice beat. Toe tapper. Tom, of course, always great. They make the B section sound like cheap trick. Like a cheap trick song, like a cheap trick original. Sounds great. Do I love the song? Not really. It's okay too. Let's hear the original, how's, how it sounds. I've never heard the original. Here's the man who captured everyone's secret wish to join the in crowd. He turned it into a giant hit recording and earned himself a ticket to the in crowd. He earned himself a ticket to the in crowd. be gray. Alright, there you go. It's alright. Back to you, cheap trick. I know all the latest steps. I'm giving that one a half. So sound they play it great. I don't think it's the greatest tune in the world, but it's okay. Next song is called Long Time No See Ya. What does Cheap Trick say about this? Well, this got kind of a cool riff that um, kind of gets buried as the track goes on, but there's, there's all kinds of different guitar parts that are actually all played live. It's not like it's, not like it's all trickery in there. But uh, huh? I can play the, the part. You got a guitar right over here. I can play the, the, <laughs> my main part. And it's lucky like, winner guitar. Oh, the lucky winner guitar. Yeah, uh, I play it's because it's a rhythm. It's a rhythmic part as opposed to just chunk, chunk, chunk. And it's about oh, let's see, boy. Should we talk it's about a, it? Is it? It's a drinking song. It's a drinking song and a non-drinking song. Yeah, it's about a person that hasn't had a drink in in 15 years. <clears throat> Personally, God, am I thirsty? And um, <laughs> And about somebody that's well, he said that joke a million times. Has vices and it's it's good to see your vice again. Long time no see you. Oh yes. Or it uh, could be about falling off the wagon. Or falling in the wagon. Or falling. It could be about a whole bunch of stuff. Long time no see you. Yeah. Long time but but you're you're very you're reacquainted in a hurry. Like that like the pint talking to you. Oh. Ooh. Long Pints. time no see you. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've I've had drinks. Welcome. I, haven't you had drinks talk to you at night? Uh, yeah, uh, obviously, yeah. yeah. <laughs> obviously, yeah. <laughs> All right, I like that story. That was a good one. Hello, Tecate. You're almost empty. Long time no see ya. Ah.
torn between a half and a full one on this. Is that a baritone guitar? Kind of a soccer, kind of a uh, like a soccer chant type song. Catchy enough, I guess. I don't love it though. I'm gonna give it a half, so I can keep my rock credibility. Although I could easily give it a one. Reminds me a little bit of uh, I get knocked out. And I get up again. That song. Uh, Tub thumping. Is that what the song is called? I don't know. All right. Next song is called The Sun Never Sets. And on the Cheat Trick message boards, a lot of people say that this is their favorite song. And uh, it's a beautiful song. So let's see what Cheap Trick says about The Sun Never Sets. Sun Never Sets on a love. Yeah, well... A, a love that shines. I you forgot the lyrics. Sun never sets on a love that shines. That's kind of not. That's not a bad little line in there. Sun never sets. Sounds. You, you almost need the whole thing, but then it's, the, the title's too long. But it's a drum solo in that one. You do that we forgot to edit out. Yeah. Oh, how they? We edited how they all the other ones go. out except for that <laughs> it's one. Every song had one. For, we lost. Yeah, really? <laughs> we lost Who doesn't like drum one? solos? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, it's a good tune, though, except for that part. <laughs> except for the drum solo yeah. or the lack of... Well, the, the lack of... Yeah. solo should be longer. Yeah, that part's cool, too. <laughs> Great chords. All right, let's hear Sun Never Sets. They said it's a beautiful song on the message boards, so let's hear it. All right, the first thing that jumps out of me right there is a great bass line. You're back. Bass way up front. I like the bass. When light suddenly shines at you, all the signs of our times point to you. Everywhere I look, I see your face. It comes to me. Vocals sound great. Vocals, classic cheap trick. the background and the answer back. Damn, Robin sings fucking great. Guy gets better. I'm sorry, no other singer can touch Robin's in. Michael Monroe comes sort of close. Dan McCaffrey, great. Robin's in is the best. to say though as good as this song as good as this record is which I think overall it sounds like a good record but you can really tell that um, in this in the recordings you can tell that Bunny's missing sounds like Cheap Trick with a different drummer seen him many times with Rot with Dax he's great he's a fucking fantastic drummer but you can really tell it's not funny
like that little production trick. Alright, I'm gonna give it a plus one. I like it. Alright, there's one more song left, and it is called... I wish I had the bonus tracks. Please, somebody, don't you send me those bonus tracks. That would just be wrong. Last song is called All Strung Out. And what does Cheap Trick say about All Strung Out? All Strung Out, that's a, that's a head... We'll probably get sued for that one, won't we, think? Yeah, probably. Because we've got a bunch of people's names in there that... that are of the litigious, litigious nature. So we'll probably, I no. can't say it, but I know what So I'm they're talking. saying some people's names that like to sue people. Uh, yeah, we'll probably get sued. Nah, nah, yeah. probably not. If you can't get blood out of a turnip, why would they sue us? Oh, that's right. There you go. <laughs> we got no money. All right, let's see if we can pick out the names they're dropping in this song. All strung <laughs> Uh, sounds like Velvet Underground, right? Starts to sneeze and pronounces bless me. Wipes his nose on a shirt that says kill Whitey. On his shirt says kill Whitey. So far, no names that I've heard. Patsy Klein. I'm out on you. You're all that I want to do. I do what you want me to. I'm all strung out on you. He takes the seeds and Johnny Cash, but he loves. Johnny Cash, Courtney Love. I'm not a huge uh, Velvet Underground or Lou Reed fan. I'm going to give this one a half. So let's tally this up. One, two, and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half, oh, no, six and a half, seven and a half, eight, eight out of 11. Let's count this up again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of 11. I'd say that's a pretty scientific score, friends. The new Cheap Trick album, Bang Zoom Crazy Hello. I hope you like this track by track review. Don't you get me started? Don't get me started. Rock and Roll Geek at gmail.com. If you agree with me, tell me, send me an email, Rock and Roll Geek at gmail.com, and say, Butler, you know your Cheap Trick. And I agree with you. Make that the subject line. And if you disagree with me and think this album stinks up to high heaven, tell me, put in the subject line, Butler, you can't sing, you suck, cheap trick blows, and I hate your show. Put that in the subject line. All right, find me on the Facebook, r and Geek. Find me on the Twitter, r and Geek. Find me on the Instagram, Rock and Roll Geek. Don't ask. And you can find this show at rockandrollgeek.com. Thank you, everybody who donated. Please keep the donations coming. Your, so, your donations keep the show alive. They really do, friends. We'll talk to you next week.
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. 